Hello and welcome back to our uh, walk through or uh, experience through the Wizarding World of Hogwarts Legacy. Before we're just we've just been getting going, and we have been sorted into our house, and we've already attended uh, our first couple classes as well as learning a few new spells. So, without a mo without any moment moments moments yeah uh let's just get into it i forget what i was gonna say so but like, like but let's just get right into it all right all right let's make myself smaller nope because i know i'm just oh, oh so beautiful i know you would rather just see me play the game all right now uh what were we doing uh we were okay yeah we just learned Reparo from a uh, dude that sounds like Hondo and Naka from Star Wars. Who's talking? Revelio. Oh. I didn't mean to do that, actually. Oh, hello. What's this? Uh, okay, these are just a list of spells. So there's re nope. I was gonna say Repario. No, that's Accio. Uh, hold to a sign. Uh, let's do. Let's actually let's put which one's Leviosa? Lumos, Repario. Where is it? That one. All right, let's do. Let's put Leviosa right there, and let's put this one at B. So that leaves you. At Actually, uh, let's make you A and you X. All right, perfect. So my uh, the the more right side of my controller is the attacks, and that one is more that one. And what are these down here? What's this? Basic. Oh, just a basic cast. What's this? Revelio. This one? Fertigo. Okay. What's this one? Stupefy. Oh, okay. What are these, though? Can I see? Oh, I can. Ancient magic throw. Oh, sweet. That's cool. What's this one? Uh, Ancient Magic Essential. Is that the name of it? Just It's just called Ancient Magic. Okay. That's a little confusing. Uh, Alahomora is, I know, in the books and the movies that was the Unlock Rooms. Grants access. Okay, so that's, that's the same. Okay, Petrificus Totalis. That's got to be the same. Yes, from the way that the video just looked, that is the same. All right, what are all these? Okay. Vada Kadara. Ooh, I can't wait for that one. Mm. <laughs> uh, Crucio. Imperio. Never heard of it. Transfiguration. Okay. I don't know. Probably, probably takes a while. Incendio. Wait, what? Why is there two? Seriously, why would there be two spells that do the same thing? Where is it? It's this one. Levitates objects and enemies. Useful for solving puzzles and surprising enemies. What's the difference here? You know what? Put it at okay. I'm getting ahead. Uh, I'm I'm getting distracted. So put it. Please put it in the comments of what the difference of those two are, please, and help me out. Open sesame. Hang on a second. Rebellion. All right.
Hang on a second. Where is it? Where is it? I got it! Have we seen anything else? Yeah, I get, I get. Uh, this cannot possibly be as difficult as it seems. Hmm. Let's just get to Sebastian so we can go get, go and get our wand. Revelio. Just checking. Well, fancy meeting you here. Yes, fancy meeting you here. After the principal Hello, told us that to come ah, here. Ah, my new charge. What? I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your yes. first foray into the village? It is. It is. I haven't left oh. the castle mm -hmm. since I arrived. <laughs> well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? Is he echoing? Is it echoing? I don't know. We'll keep an eye out for it. Or ear to it. Hence, some enemies are vulnerable to certain spells and techniques. And you're also visit the collections menu to discover some I'll do that on my own time to check that stuff out. A mode LT reveals additional secondary targets and a reticle for. I, I, I've actually done LT a couple times and. Ugh, it, may, it irritates me. Uh, that logo appearance of any gear can be altered. And the gear menu to look like any other basic gear you have looted. Looted? I can loot in this game? Oh, oh, I love it. Oh, how do I loot? I'm out. I'm out of the castle. Finally. All right, which way? I'm following you, dude. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. Of course. You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. <laughs> Speaking of Weasley, That's she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. <laughs> Spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well-rounded. Is my cloak wet? Speaking I of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. You're welcome. <laughs> Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, Rebellion. has got home for me, as is often the case. Professor Weasley came to retrieve me. And I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. Well, you're welcome then. Looks like it sounds like you owe me so one. How did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. <laughs> See, that's why. Accio. All right, let's go. Merlin's beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look. What's going on? See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? Oh. You certainly don't see that every day. Dang. What are those things? Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs. Okay. Absolutely. Like we already mentioned. To the left is the Forbidden Forest. 
Out of bounds to all students. Oh, hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. <laughs> ah, you can see Hogsmeade just past those ruins up ahead. Where? Have you had much of a chance to explore the castle? A little. Right. It's positively enormous. It is that. I've Whoa. been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see, places to discover. Oh? Any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. <laughs> I've always thought that's just my life against the uh, stone sta magical stone statues. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand, too. Most notably, that dragon attack. Hopefully, the rest of your year isn't as eventful. Mr. Moon! He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Oh, okay. Hello, Mr. Moon. Whoa, I think that's our new fifth year. Pleasure! Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, look right at me! Eyes big as saucers! What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys! Ugly and airy and terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. A Demi guys. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. <laughs> I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. <laughs> oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. Wait, what? She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. Oh. That's sad. Well. All right, let's go. Uh, well, jeez. Honestly, we... if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. Okay. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get, a wand and some other bits. Yes. One first! One some first! Spellcraft and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with a new wand. Mm -hmm. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. Okay. Open. Oh yeah, Ollivanders. Yep, that's where we're going first. We are getting our wand. Sweet. Is it this guy? Yeah, it's this guy. Open! Open! I'm a paying customer. I'll be okay. right with... Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. I'm famous. Would you look at that? I am uh, famous. Hello, sir. I'm looking for, for a new wand. Yes. It's about time. <laughs> yes. Uh, about time? Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you. Truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect one, shall we? Mm, uh, no, 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 not you. Um, ah, yes, yes. The green box. Powerful core. Ten and a half inches. Mm, you might do. Here, give this one a try. Kind of a small wand. 
Well, go ahead, swish. Give her a flick. Oh, how odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? He just <laughs> casually opens the box and says, get back in the box. We'll find you something not to worry. <laughs> no, not you. Uh, uh, hmm, perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, 13 and 3 quarter inches, dragon heart string. That's a little big. Let's give this one a try. Like a carrot. Oh, 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 Something just happened. Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. He's like, uh, he's like, uh-uh, bad one. This is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. There we go. I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Surely it's got to be a third. Third's the charm. Okay, here we go. Okay, looks like we're going to. Looks like a joint. This looks like a joint. Look at it. Look at it. Okay, Ash Brown. How do I change it? What do I do? What do I do? Okay. One style. Curious indeed. <gasps> you know what that one looks like? That one looks like the elder one. Elder one? Yeah, that's it. That one kind of looks like it too. How intriguing. Gray. What's this one? Curious indeed. Yes. Spiral or joint like. How intriguing. Okay, A or B. I like these two. Let's see, what can I do here? Can I do. Curious indeed. Okay, what are the, what are the colors for this one? How intriguing. I can have more of a white one. Actually, two or three. Two. Curious three. indeed. You know what? I like that one. I like the. I like the look of that right there. All right. Let's see here. Wood type sycamore. Okay. Yeah, we go. I gotta hover over it. How intriguing. Uh, wood type. Red oak. Oh, okay. So I think it's just. It doesn't really change. Elder. Ha! Ah, yes! Oops. How intriguing. Wait, was there a dogwood? Okay. 11 and 3 quarters inches. We want a big one. Yes. Alright. Flexibility. Curious Swishy, indeed. Slightly springy. What does this mean? Let's be supple. Supple? Reasonably supple? How intriguing. Unyielding, slightly yielding, unbending, rigid, stiff, solid. Curious hard, indeed. Whippy. Whippy. Sergeant Whippy. Alright, did it again. Alright. Uh, what's this? Dragon heart strength that serves as the core of the wand, known for producing powerful magic. Uh, unicorn hair, the hair of a unicorn that serves as the core of the wand, known for producing consistent magic. Uh, honestly, consistent is good. Uh, phoenix feather that serves as the core of the wand, be capable of producing great range of magic. Ooh. 
power. Consistency. Or great range. You know what? Great range isn't really... I don't think it would be ever, would be really that great because, I mean... How, how, how far do you think we'd be like casting a spell? Uh, let's go consistent. Hmm. A unicorn hair wand is most reliable and faithful to its owner. A dragon heartstring wand is most powerful and learns quickly. Ooh. Ah, Phoenix Feather. Exceptionally rare and a core with a strong sense of initiative. Hmm. How intriguing. You know what? I'm going to go dragon. Based what, on what do you said, think? It's powerful. Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Good. Do not be surprised at your new one's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Okay. Alright, next up. I don't even know what they're... Okay, here we go. Pippin's Potion. Let's do Pippin's Potion. Alright. This looks like a potion. We're going shopping. Oh, it's not that way. It's this way. We're going shopping, kid. Kid. Let me in! Paying customer out here, come on. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Okay. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that Who's she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, I either. Know. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well... Parry Pippin at your service. Parry and this Pippin. is J. Pippin's potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. Okay. Sure, the student she sent the owl about. Oh. I set your things aside immediately. Okay. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Yes. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? I have no Rivals idea. Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. Are potions really that versatile? They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. Okay. They can heal, destroy, protect, 
You'll discover all of this soon enough. Okay. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Okay. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? Okay, yeah, let's, let's do it. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. I don't have I'll any money. Come back another time if you're in a rush today. Yeah, I don't have any money. All right, now, next. Hello there. Oh. Oops, let me do that. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the <laughs> seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the ditany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I imagine I somebody just you, running then. around. Merlin, they run right, right, right up to you. Starting off, it's as if fifth year. <laughs> yes, you must be positively uh, reeling so from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way, and this is my shop, the Magic Neep. My shop. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. Okay. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. Okay. But Weasley, we get your Professor Weasley gave you a list. Just. Give me the list. Do have a look around. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. Yeah, I don't have any money. Wait. How do you get money in this game? Didn't see that one. Shut up and give me my stuff. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. You don't have to be so Matilda, polite. student. I thought I oh. might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor Matilda. here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, uh, but you will soon enough. 
It is magic at its purest, creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity, but that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. Cool. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. Cool. I look forward to that day. All right, give him my stuff. And I too see okay, it. Okay, give him my stuff. Spellcrafts are incredibly Thomas! useful for conjuring items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. I say, but I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. Just love for now, talk. let's get the spellcrafts you need. I mean, a potting table and a potion station. Yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Right, Nothing be like so being able to grow talk, your own so ingredients slow. and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Thank you. Thank you. If you're interested, I'm not. feel free to take a look around <laughs> at the rest of my inventory. <laughs> if you're oh, interested, I'm not. Better go and find Sebastian. Out me way. Officially have all of my supplies. All right. Excellent. Time to go. Did off. you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Yes. Let's see what else we can get up to. That is not good. Give me a second. I can't have it. I swear I checked it before I plugged in and it, and it said it was, hang on a second. I had a full battery. Like this is, this is garbage. Hang on. There we go. Wait, it's not going in right. There we go. All right. Let me plug you in real quick. So sorry about that. That's right, you lumbering lamb. He's faltering. 
Nice. Oh, thought I was about to die there. Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are. And we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. <laughs> like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't Sorry. mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, Officer. Singer. Officer Singer. Officer and thank Singer. You again. Repairer. I'll go and see what he wants. Repair one. So we're gonna fix in this thing. Rebellion. Oh. That's a big one. Repair. Room. There we go. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Oh. Okay. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Well, that was I exciting. Introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin, but I can no. offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Hey. That's very kind of you, Mr. Hill, but I can't accept robes that I didn't pay for. <laughs> Nonsense! I insist! Well, okay uh, then. Now, now, let's try this on for size, shall we? Offense. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'd say we've earned a butter beer or two, wouldn't you? Yes. Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. 
Three broomsticks is just this way. Revelio. I sell even more battle-worthy items. <laughs> You're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. Assuming it isn't utter bedlam in there, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She's a good one to know. Okay. Who's that? You said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. What? That all you needed hey, was okay. a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. <laughs> Who's this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. <laughs> Let's go. Did they see us? Probably. No, I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Randwalk oh. is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Oh. He's talking Quickly, about that let's get inside the three broomsticks. Okay. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? <laughs> well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade, that's never happened before. Hmm. Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... Uh, uh, There's one. A time lane. Was that Lodgog I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. Uh -huh. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. Oh, me? My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. <laughs> I said, Look at me, a popular my friend guy. is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. <sighs> Seems you've this made quest a fortunate while. enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. I mean, I would really like to have trolls, Ranrock, and Rookwood. In an episode, what are you not telling me? But I, d I, I really promise to tell you everything, but it's perhaps best I do that later. And on that note, I think we should head back to the castle. There. Right. I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Arlo. 
I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights. But we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. Ah. Uh, you must return to the common room for the night. Access the map. Okay. Yeah, like I was saying, um, I, like, hopefully the quests don't generally last that long. Because, I mean, I, w I would really love to have more than, more than one, I, like, two or three quests in an episode, but, like, I, again, I don't want to drag on for an extra one, or an extra, or drag on too long. Is it here? Up above, yeah. So... We'll see what happens when we get back. And, but as long as nothing pops up when we get back, we will cut it right there. After the loading screen. <laughs> Good news, I did not die once with the troll attack. Although, I think I almost did. I think one more hit and it would have killed me. Although, at times I felt like I was dodging out of the way and it was, wasn't, and it was still hitting me, but. Okay, yeah, I, I think we're, I think we'll be safe to head out. Quest complete, perfect, yeah. One quest though, so. Okay then. Okay, look, here we go. We are level five now. Nice. And my little owl friend over here. What's up? Alright, let's see here. Let's save. Oh, I gotta hold it. There we go. Alright! All right, now let me see. Uh, looks like we'll start next time with Cross Wands with Lucan Battle or Brattleby with the Dueling Club or the Secret Dueling Club. That's what. Yeah, we will start with Lucan uh, in the next episode. So yeah, hopefully that one doesn't take so long and we can get a couple quests out of the way. So as a reminder, please. Hit that like button in the comments. Just stop by and say hey, as well as a couple of times I, done, I asked in the middle of the episode to let me know some, some different stuff. So, yeah, if anything, just stop by and say hi, and make sure you hit that uh, subscribe button. See you on the next one. Ciao.